I'm Tom Shoup, uh, Editor-in-Chief at Government Executive Media Group, and I'm here with Clay Johnson, author of The Information Diet, and former White House Information, White House Innovation Fellow, and uh, now running a company called Department of Better Technology. That's right. That right? Um, and Clay just uh, talked to our audience about healthcare.gov and what's going on there and what can be done about it. Um, you said at the beginning of your presentation, some federal IT projects work. How come this one didn't? Well, I think it didn't work because of, uh, you know, if you, if, I think it's worth taking a step back and saying, what does success look like? Success to me looks like money, uh, time, uh, accountability, and talent, right? So if you have those four things, generally you're going to succeed. And they had plenty of money and they had plenty of time, but did they have the right level of talent and did they have the right level of accountability? I think that the procurement process has made it so that the federal government can't really get to the right talent. And that's not just because we've sort of got an insular community of, uh, of contractors uh, and we're not sort of growing our contracting uh, ecosystem, but it's also because those contractors can't uh, attract and retain talent themselves to do this work. And so if we can't get the talent part of the equation work to, to work, then of course these things are going to, to fail. Uh, and the next part, accountability, is also uh, a bit broken because we have financial systems that were also designed by large federal IT contractors by subpar talent. And we, uh, so we, we can't actually tell what's going on. We have an IT dashboard. Uh, now it's measuring the wrong thing. Right now it's giving the healthcare.gov plan finder a five out of five, uh, which clearly it's broken. <laughs> um, uh, no one's disputing in the country that healthcare.gov you know, is, is, works, uh, whether it works or not. Um, but for some reason, the sort of oversight metrics that we're looking at are giving it a five out of five, right? So I think the, uh, the accountability and talent sides of this, this equation are, are broken and need to be fixed. Is there a chance that something good comes out of this in terms of real procurement reform in government? I think so. I think that it's definitely given FATARA, uh, the Federal IT Acquisition Reform Act, uh, a breath. Uh, you know, it's put wind in that, that act's sails. Um, I think that uh, though that if I mean, you know if that passes it'll be a nice step forward but I don't think that it's going to be the kind of reform at least that I'm looking for the thing that I'm looking for is something that encourages new small businesses to get into the federal marketplace I don't think that um, the issue is reducing the sales cost for the existing uh, uh, vendors and empowering CIOs I think those are good outcomes of Vitara I think that that should happen um, but I also think that we need to have new blood inside of uh, the federal IT space, uh, and we need to have some legislation uh, from Congress that encourages that both by uh, maybe streamlining processes at the Small Business Administration, by increasing the simplified acquisition threshold and earmarking that money for small businesses, uh, and by making it so that uh, uh, contracts are uh, negotiated and empowered by technical people uh, rather than by contracting officers. You talked a little bit about the British experience and how mm -hmm. they brought some of the IT expertise in-house to hold people accountable. Is that something that can work here, and how would that start? So I think it can. I think that if we emulate the British, uh, what the British do is they basically do everything in-house. The, the, Mike Bracken, who leads the British GDS, says procurement is for pencils. Like, let's use that for commodity stuff uh, and not for, um, not for uh, 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 you know, professional services. And I think that that's easy to do when you have a government that's the size of the UK. You can probably get a lot of your IT projects done with a staff of 300 to 500 people. The United States federal government, if it tried to do that, it would essentially have to create a large uh, bureaucratic uh, uh, federal IT contractor inside of the federal government that were all federal employees and not, uh, not um, uh, 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 contractors. So that is, that's gonna be an issue for, for the US. I think a better way to do it is to say, let's, have, let's do some stuff internally and let's also manage our uh, by process better so that we can get some of the best external talent as well. Great. Thanks for taking the time to speak today and for stopping us here. Great to be here. Thanks for having me.